You're now listening to The Shipper's Toolbox, presented by Refund Retriever. Hey guys, Brian from Refund Retriever, and today we're going to talk about the best shipping box quality for FedEx and UPS. So, as a business owner, the most important thing about shipping cardboard boxes is that you get your product to your customers safely. You want a quality box to withstand the shipping and the whole transportation process. So when shipping with FedEx and UPS, how can you really ensure that your boxes won't wind up crushed at their destinations? So we're going to walk you through some of the steps to find the best quality shipping box, you know, minimum crush test for FedEx and UPS, and when you should use double wall versus single walled. So for each carrier, there's maximums and minimums for both package weight and dimension. Most e-commerce businesses though, you know, your product's going to fall within acceptable ranges. But when it comes to box quality, the shipping carriers don't really have any minimums or maximums. They simply require that your shipping box be sturdy and undamaged. They also really rely on the customer to probably secure pack their own boxes before shipping. So this leaves your box choice wide open. So let's take a look at how to find the appropriate box quality for your product. So the packing industry has two major ways of measuring strength and durability of a cardboard shipping box. So there's really two tests that are designed to determine the same thing, but they're kind of in different ways. So the first one is the edge crush test, the ECT. This was designed to test and measure the durability of a cardboard box by applying pressure to the top or bottom of the box and seeing how much it can withstand before like vertically before collapsing the ECT test you know the strength of a shipping box from top to bottom this is important really when they're stacked on top of each other or when shipped in pallets this is the most common test used boxes with a 32 ECT can hold up to 40 pounds both FedEx and UPS accept these 32 ECT boxes but if your product weighs more than 40 pounds you need to use a higher ECT box. The next test is a Mullins test. This is also known as a bursting test. This tests the bursting strength of a cardboard box, you know, how much pressure the walls of a shipping box can handle before it bursts. With this test, you know, they must have a minimum base weight requirement, meaning that they're the heavier boxes by default compared to boxes measured by the ECT. So while the standard result of the ECT is 32, the standard result of the Mullins is at 200 pound. This is measured in pounds. The higher the number, the stronger the box. ECT focuses on how the box will hold up while stacked. Mullins test focuses on how the box will hold up when being handled individually. So if it's handled roughly and how much weight it can hold. Both UPS and FedEx accept these 200 pound boxes. But again, if your product weighs more than 40 pounds, you probably need a higher Mullins rated box. So now let's look at double walled versus single walled boxes. So you get these two major tests. What's the difference between the two types of boxes here? Double walled boxes have two layers of cargated fluting. You know, they're most commonly used for heavy duty shipping, thicker box walls, the sturdier the box. But don't be fooled by the name. Even though they're heavy duty products, double walled boxes still measure up to the ECT or Mullins test. Single wall boxes have just one layer of corrugated fluting. They're still sturdy, but they have a limited to amount of weight they can hold. And single wall boxes are the most commonly used for e-commerce business owners. So pretty much when you get your Amazon boxes, they're gonna be single wall boxes. There are some boxes that you should avoid as an e-commerce shipper. So if something that is not measured by ECT or Mullins on the back, if they don't have that little stamp, I wouldn't ship with them. If you have boxes that hold less than 40 pounds, it's probably not a great box uh, to ship with because there's gonna be other boxes around it that weigh more and will crush your box. Also, used boxes. Don't sacrifice your box quality just to save a few bucks. Used boxes are gonna have more dents, more bruises, and they're gonna have some weaknesses that might not be apparent with the eye, but when you put them under pressure, you're going to see the weakness, you're going to have more damage, you're going to have more issues for your customers, and it might cost you more in the long run. When shopping for boxes, for shipping boxes, look at the packaging industry stamp of approval. So that 32 ECT and 200 pound boxes are the most common accepted. They're going to hold up to 40 pounds. One of our partners, Brandable Box, they have boxes that will withstand e-commerce shipping. 
they're made from 100% recycled material, which is also good, and they have that 32 ECT. We're a fan of Brandable Box. If you have ever seen Reef and Retriever at a trade show, you've seen our screen printed boxes. We've ordered these branded boxes from Brandable Box. So if you ever want to put your logo on a box going out the door, it's a very inexpensive way to do this. They have bulk discounts. And if you look at our website, put RR 20% off. You know, you get a code 20% off your first order. They're really good boxes. So. Uh, if you have any questions about boxes or FedEx or UPS shipping, give us a call 800-441-8085 or check out our website refundretriever.com. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you for joining us on the Shipper's Toolbox. If you have any questions, visit our website refundretriever.com. Feel free to reach out to us 800-441-8085 for anything related to your FedEx or UPS invoices. Have a great day.